I am so incredibly honored to be named the Conductor of the Year by Musical America. And of course, I'm absolutely delighted and thrilled and surprised and, and all of the emotions you might uh, expect upon hearing this kind of news. But really, it makes me reflect on the relationship that, that we've built here at the Louisville Orchestra, not just between our musicians and staff and board and audiences, but between the orchestra and our city because this is a reflection of the work that we have all done together. When I started this job seven years ago, this is now my eighth season, believe it or not, uh, there were a lot of challenges at the orchestra, and we tend not to even talk about those things anymore because they really were in the past. But in a moment like this, I, I think it's worth acknowledging that we had a lot of work to do to make an orchestra that was not just worthy of our city, but could be a leadership institution around the world that the rest of the country and the world would look to and say, wow, the Louisville Orchestra is doing extraordinary creative work that genuinely impacts the people that live there. And that was our mission. We set the bar extremely high. We did not say that just because there had been some challenges before that we were just going to be very cautious and careful with our trajectory. We said we are going to go for the absolute biggest, most impactful creative vision that we could possibly have. And I'm very proud because many of our wildest fantasies about what an orchestra can be have actually come true. And we have built a relationship between the organization, between the Louisville Orchestra and our city that I am extremely proud of. And it's one that I hope will only continue to grow and strengthen. And so much of the work that we've done has been focused, yes, first and foremost, of course, on presenting music that absolutely blows your minds. Music played at the highest level, the highest artistic level, the most creative level. But there's a whole separate and equally important part of the concept of what an orchestra can be in the 21st century. And that is at all times to genuinely serve the people that we live amongst, to serve our neighbors, to serve the citizens and people of Louisville, Kentucky and the region beyond us. And that's because to have a civic organization like an orchestra, it is not enough if we take the name of Louisville in our title to simply play great concerts. We have to positively impact the lives of Louisvillians. We have to make our city a better place, a more connected place, a place of greater understanding of the very values that we believe in institutionally, not just musically, but for people. And so much of our work that we've done has been about thinking, how can our music, how can our music making impact everybody so that they feel like their organization, their orchestra supports them, that their orchestra plays music that means something to them in their lives, that enriches the experience of living in our city, and also that makes the rest of the world point to Louisville and say that is a great place to live. That's a place where creativity flows through the streets and the music that you encounter there is going to inspire you and make you feel a sense of place and community. And so that's the work that we've been doing, but this award and this recognition right now, as I said, is a reflection of that, but it's also a call to action for the future because it's just beginning. Yes, these have been seven extraordinary seasons, and I could go on and on with the things that we've done. There are so many uh, memories of, of outrageous performances, uh, everything from the collaboration with Jim James to uh, going to The Tonight Show and premiering our new album to signing a record deal with Universal Music. Uh, to just performance after performance of unexpected world premieres with artists of every genre. There are so many memories, but it's all about what we do right now in the future. As we confront a time that has many challenges and many issues, most of which have nothing to do with the orchestra specifically, it's just a challenging time to be around right now in this era, your orchestra is there for you. And we think about this every single day. What is the kind of music making? What is the kind of programming? What are the kind of services and projects that we can do that will transform life in Louisville, Kentucky going forward? That's the kind of work that we promise we'll do to you. And this award right now serves as an inspiration and a beacon for us to keep on doing that work. So thank you, thank you to Musical America for recognizing all of us here in Kentucky. Thank you to all my colleagues, musicians, staff, board, and of course our beloved audiences at the Louisville Orchestra. And we can't wait to see you at a performance very soon. Thank you.